رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما Under what emergency circumstances can one break a fard fast? You cannot break a fard fast unless you have a legitimate reason. And these legitimate reasons were mentioned in the Quran. Being sick or a traveling. Other than that, you cannot break your fast unless it is something that is out of your control. Like what, Sheikh? Someone holding a gun to your head and say, eat. In this case, you're forced to. And eating, by the way, when forced, would not be something that nullifies your fasting. <gasps> Are you serious? I said, yeah. If someone threatens you, either to kill you or to harm you or to cut you into pieces or to flog you, something that is harmful, Allah gives you the permission to eat out of force, being forced. You're compelled. So this is not your own choice. So you eat and eat until he's stopped and said, خلاص, okay, now I'm convinced that you're not fasting. And he leaves, continue fasting. What about the meal I just had? You did not have it out of your own choice. And this is why the things that nullify your fasting, they have to be done when you are knowledgeable, you are remembering, and you are choosing. So if you do something without knowledge, I never, I never knew that a cappuccino could break your fast. I thought it was only food and water. Seriously? Wallahi, I'm a new revert. I did not know that. In this case, your fast is valid. No problem. A guy accepts Islam in Alaska. And after Ramadan was over, he heard that food, drink, and intercourse breaks your fasting. He comes to me and says, Sheikh, I didn't know that intercourse with the spouse breaks fasting. I thought only food and drink. Seriously? He said, Wallahi, I didn't know. He said, your fasting is valid because you did not know. So knowledge is one of the conditions required so that your fasting would break by consuming or doing any of the nullifiers of fasting. Two, remembering. What do you mean by remembering? People forget. One of my sons-in-law called me one day and he said, Uncle, today I'm fasting. I went to work. Before I went to work at 7 o'clock, I opened the fridge, made a sandwich, drank a glass of milk, and took an apple. And after I finished the apple, I said, oh, I'm fasting. So I said, no problem. Your fasting is valid. The Prophet said, whoever forgets and eats or drinks while fasting, Allah has fed him and Allah has provided him with water. He should continue fasting. He says, Zakallah khair, uncle. In the afternoon, he calls me. He said, I was at work. And the boys at work went and bought al Bek, which is a very well-known brand of uh, fried chicken in Saudi. So they said, come and eat. And I went and ate and ate garlic and drank Pepsi. And after I finished, I smacked myself, doped slop, and said, I'm fasting. What should I do? Achi, come on. Breakfast, okay. Lunch, tomorrow, no, what, what else? But again, the ruling is the same. It's between him and Allah. Did you forget? He said, Wallah, I forgot. And then your fasting is still valid. But man, with such forgetfulness, I wish I have this in Ramadan every single day. To have two full meals and then claim it's for, out of forgetfulness, this is between you and Allah Azza wa Jal. So Alhamdulillah, knowledge and remembering.
The third is choosing. So if I drink and eat out of my own choice, this nullifies my fasting. But if I was compelled and forced to do this, and if I don't, harm will catch up with me or I will be killed or tortured or injured. This is a legitimate reason to eat until this threat is uplifted. And then I have to refrain and continue my fasting. Likewise, may Allah protect all of us. If a woman was raped while fasting, she's resisting, she's fighting, but she was overwhelmed. Does she break her fast? No. If a wife was forced by her husband, she resisted, she continued to fight till the end. Does she break her fast? Answer is no. Her fast is intact and valid. And there's nothing wrong in that, inshallah, on her.